Next tonight, campaigners have described it as a diamond jubilee for modern, diverse Britain. The 75th anniversary of the Windrush generation who helped rebuild post-war Britain will be marked later this year. Actors like Lenny Henry and historians will join charities across the capital in events to mark the historic milestone and celebrate the legacy of a generation. 75 years ago, the Empire Windrush docked in Tilbury. On board, more than 400 passengers from the Caribbean, ready to start a new life and help rebuild a Britain battered by war. They were the first of those who became known as the Windrush generation. Arriving in Britain between 1948 and 1971, many of them settled in London, making their mark on the capital. It was not an easy time. The new arrivals often faced racism and prejudice. In 2017, it emerged that despite being Commonwealth citizens, free to live and work permanently in the UK, many of the Windrush generation had wrongly been detained, deported and denied legal rights. A long fight for compensation began, one which isn't over yet. And this year, 75 years on from the arrival of HMT Empire Windrush, is the chance to celebrate everything the pioneering generation have brought to Britain. I'm joined now by Windrush campaigner Patrick Vernon. Patrick, what do you want this year to be like? How do you want it to feel? 75 years is a significant part of British history. And I think it's about recognising the contribution of the Windrush generation post-Second World War, up to its legacy. There's about four generations of the Windrush community in Britain, especially in a place like London. If you look at the NHS, transport, all aspects of public life, arts, culture, we have influence and shape Britain. So I think it's fit and proper that we acknowledge this contribution and the history, particularly for young people. How will the year look in terms of events? There's going to be loads of events in London. I mean, every single London, all the boroughs will be doing stuff. We've got, there'll be some things being organised nationally. Uh, for example, the Royal Mint will have the commemorative coins, the Royal Mail, the British Royal Legion are organising events to recognise the contribution in terms of world conflict. There'll be the VNA up doing plans. And I think every part of London, I want people to get involved and organise street parties. But more importantly, I think the key thing is actually, if I look at my parents, my dad's 91, passed up Windrush generation, and that generation's disappearing. This is going to be the last significant uh, commemoration to say thank you for those men and women who came as young people and have contributed to Britain. So talk to your neighbours, friends, people in care homes, and just say thank you very much for your contribution in terms of creating Britain as we know it today as a multicultural, multicultural Britain, and more importantly, the future that we've done for the next generation as well. I suppose that is so poignant, isn't it? Because people haven't always felt thanked for what yes. they gave to this country. Absolutely. We know the Windrush scandal and other issues around discrimination. That's still ongoing. We need to recognise that. But we also have to recognise that contribution, that legacy as well. So I'm hoping that if people watching this, um, the clip tonight, uh, people in the corporate world, people in all aspects of life and society in communities, let's do something special for the Windrush generation and to acknowledge their contribution. And people can get involved, as you said earlier, windrush75.org. They can plan their own events. Yes. And there's lots of websites and things to go to. Absolutely. Uh, this is everyone's year, isn't it? It's everyone's year, and let's make it special for everyone, especially for the Windrush generation. Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you. Now, the ITV News continues at 